Is that right? Oh! What's going on, everybody? Lucas Decker here. I had a bunch of these old Hasbro Blazing Team yo-yos sitting in my closet for the longest time. These yo-yos are super gimmicky, and these really aren't worth enough money to sell. Basically, I'm kind of stuck with them, so I thought it'd be cool if we unbox them and see what they're all about. If you're new to yo-yoing and want to get started learning some tricks, then be sure to check out my online yo-yo shop and pick up the Yo-Yo Master Pack. The Master Pack includes the best yo-yos for getting started and learning tricks. The shop will be the first link in the description below. And with all that being said, we're not wasting any more time, let's get started! So these Blazing Team yo-yos are based off of the Blazing Team TV show. The show is about teenagers who use magic yo-yos to fight off evil. Rather interesting, but kind of cool premise. It says right here, Masters of Yo Kwon Do. I haven't seen the show, but I'm assuming a good portion of it is about the teens learning to master Yo Kwon Do. I'm not too sure if the show or the yo-yos ever really took off at one point, but I remember these things becoming a lot more well-known in 2016, because that year, Blazing Team was actually a sponsor of the World Yo-Yo Contest. There it is, Blazing Team, right on the poster. World 2016 good times. Speaking of World 2016, that's actually where I got all these yo-yos. They had a table with stacks of these yo-yos on them, and they were all free. So every now and then, I would walk by the table and grab like one or two of them and stuff them in my backpack. And by the end of the trip, I had like 35 of these things. I think I was like 14 at the time. Probably should have saved some for some other people who actually wanted them. But at this point, I don't think anybody wants these. All right, everyone. So we got five blaze... Dang it. So we're gonna be unboxing these four right here. I'm gonna start off the unboxing with this bad boy right here. This is the Beast Wrangler. And the gimmick of this one is that it has easy return, AKA it has a clutch system. And this one is level two out of five. So we're breaking the rules of Yo Kwon Do by skipping level one. You guys think we'll manage? I hope so. All right, here we go. Oh, this is Tate. I guess I'm gonna have to Beast Wrangle this box. Sorry. Ugh. All right. All right, so we got some instructions and the yo-yo. Get that out of here. You know what? I gotta say, I like this packaging. Nice and secure and protected. That is good stuff. And there you have it, the Beast Wrangler. All right, so the yo-yo comes pre-strung, which is awesome. First throw on the Beast Wrangler. All right, that didn't sound very nice. Okay. All right, maybe that was a... Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see how the clutch works. Yeah, all right. What? Okay. The response on this yo-yo is actually not that good. See, when it's spinning really fast, it kind of slips when I tug on it. Now, because it's a clutch yo-yo, you got to make sure that you finish your tricks, because if you don't, the clutch is just going to engage anyways, and it's going to mess you up. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a uh, clutch system is not that good. But hey, you know what? The clutch system works. At the end of the day, yeah, you saw that. I'm not doing anything. It works. Next up, we're going to check out the Tornado Strike. This yo-yo's gimmick is that it spins anywhere. Very similar to the Yo-Yo Factory 9 Dragons. Speaking of which, I've also got the Nine Dragons on my yo-yo shop. First link in the description below. All right, so the Tornado Strike is also a level two. I think we'll be okay this time because we're able to handle the Beast Wrangler. So hopefully this will be no different. This one's also got tape. These instructions are folded incredibly well. I mean, the level of precision is unmatched. Ooh, this one's a little bit tighter. So this is the Tornado Strike. This yo-yo does not have a shell you can grab onto while it's spinning. You can only grab onto the sides and the rims while it's spinning. All right, first throw with the Tornado Strike. Okay. I mean, hey, you know what? Is this responsive? Oh, it is responsive. Keeps getting, why does it, it get stuck there? What? Like it, it winds up so tight and the string just gets like snagged in the yo-yo. And then like, even when it wants to come off my hand, the string just has to like unsnag itself. Or it could be the shape of the yo-yo too. I don't know. All right. The response pads on this are not 
not good. There's still like a delay on the response, but since the response is diluted, you can still do string tricks with it. And of course, the gimmick of this yo-yo, dude. Ow! All right, that did not feel good. I was trying to hop it up and grab it, but since it's responsive, it went back to my hand and hit the side of my hand. All right, so we can't hop it up. We have to just grab it like that. I mean, it doesn't really work if it's not unresponsive, because like I can't really have it rest in my hand without that happening. Since you can grab the sides of the caps, it is really easy to pull start. I mean, yeah, this is really all you can do with it. I don't like this yo-yo. Good concept, horrible execution. All right, maybe this next one will be better. This is the Light Storm Revealer. So the gimmick of this one is that it lights up. So it's going to reveal the Light Storm. Wait, no, it's just gonna reveal this. Wait, what even is a Light Storm? This one is also a level two. Once again, these instructions are folded really, really well. I mean, this is top tier folding right here. You know what? Let's turn off the lights for this. Y'all ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one. Okay, I saw something for a second. What happened? Yo, it lights up for like a split second and then stops. Yeah, you, I saw that. You saw that, right? All right, yo-yoing in the dark is not very easy. Okay, I think the side caps spin separately, so it looks like you have to pull start this. Ah, okay. All right. Yo, what the heck? It only lights up on one side. All right, let's turn the lights back on. So you have to grab the outside while the yo-yo is spinning super fast in order to get this thing to even light up. Yo, I'm actually looking at the instructions right now. And this picture makes it look like it lights up while it's spinning. And like it technically does, but like the only way to get it to light up for a considerable amount of time, dang it, you have to actually grab it. I mean, look at that. It doesn't say anything about grabbing the sides of it. Unbelievable. So the fact that you have to grab the sides of this yo-yo in order to get it to light up for more than a split second is already annoying enough. But the fact that it only lights up on one side, why? As for the yo-yo's performance, like, String tricks are doable. It's kind of heavy, honestly. Yeah, overall, I don't like this yo-yo either. All right, last yo-yo. This is the Vortex Spin. And the gimmick of this one is Roll to Go. That does not sound very promising, but I'm gonna try and keep my hopes up. Now this one is a level three, so we're gonna be kicking it up a notch here. Ooh, and there's two pieces of tape on the bottom. They think they can stop me, huh? Oh, shoot, maybe they can. Nope. These instructions are folded somewhat okay. All right, so the outer caps on this one actually have these grips on the sides. Now what's interesting about these caps is that they only spin one way. So it spins freely one way, but then when you push the other way, it actually stops. This yo-yo also has the yellow rubber rings on the rims of the yo-yo. I guess the idea is that you roll the yo-yo on something to get it to start spinning. First throw on the Vortex Spin. What the heck? Did y'all hear that? It sounded super noisy and then it just went quiet. Oh, okay. All right, we got an unresponsive yo-yo. Yo, this is like really unresponsive. Okay, so I guess that sound is the cap spinning. All right, so let's just try rolling this thing. What are we gonna try on the wall here? Is that right? Oh! I never realized that. That stopping mechanism, that actually winds the yo-yo up. So we can take this and roll it, get it wound up, and it's actually spinning right now. That is so cool. As lame as I thought this would be, 
this one is actually pretty cool. And the rubber on the rims is actually really, really helpful. Like, there's no way the CIO would work without the rubber rims. I wonder if the rubber rims help with rejections. It's too fast, I can't even catch the string. Yo! Oh! Yeah, it's not very good for ejections, but uh, it's still fun to mess around with. I mean, yeah, the Vortex spin far surpassed my expectations, which at this point was pretty easy, but this is pretty cool. I'd like to see a Yayo like this get made, but just a lot higher quality and better executed. I think this is a cool idea, I just think that it could be improved upon. But as far as I know, it's the first of its kind, and I applaud it for that. Alright guys, there you have it. These are all four of the yo-yos that we unboxed. The Beast Wrangler and the Vortex Spin are definitely my favorite. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about these yo-yos, because I'm really curious to see what you have to say. And that's gonna put a wrap on this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you enjoyed it. Guys, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It is truly appreciated. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think of these yo-yos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll be talking to you very soon. Ooh.